Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to move to case number 22 in GIT contrast studies. Our patient today is a 43 year old patient presented with abdominal pain and lethargy for 3 months duration. So this is the anteroposterior spot radiograph of barium follow through series. So at a glance you can see some abnormalities but when you look at closely so you can see a linear tubular filling defect in the distal jejunum. Yeah. Here you can see tubular filling defect. And uh, it's, it has very smooth outline. And um, so there are a few tubular similar like appearance. So tubular filling defects in the mid part of the jejunum also so you can see similar appearances and uh, so however the valvular conventus pattern is normal and uh, distribution of the bowel is also normal no abnormal enlargements to suggest uh, bowel obstruction and uh, you can't see any uh, significant filling defects to suggest neoplasms and uh, there are no stricture formations and uh, no evidence of contrast leakage no fistula structs visualized bones also normal so there's a linear tubular filling defect so there's a filling defect linear tubular filling defect and um, in this case the diagnosis is Ascaris worm Ascariasis or Ascaris lumbricoids differential diagnosis is uh, foreign body you have to think of other other foreign bodies that's a uh, differential diagnosis for embodies like Ascaris worm. So Ascaris usually resides in the small bowel and it is seen as a tubular filling defects in the small bowel. There are multiple filling defects in the small bowel and the patient will present with malnutrition and vague abdominal pain. So this is uh, so Ascar is, is actually a roundworm infection. So there are some worms who reside in the large bowel also but this is a small bowel worm. And uh, so the complications are like uh, bowel obstructions can happen small bowel obstruction. So you have to look for those complications. So that concludes case number 22 in GIT contrast studies please subscribe our youtube channel and you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this